Are your 3D prints coming out boring? Possibly as boring as this video? When I hang on, there might be something to this. Most people leave the prints the way they are. Or some have like multi-material systems. While others will try to use body filler and spray paint them. Well, how about going a different route with these? How about adding a little pizzazz to your 3D prints with some hydrographics? That's what this is. Um, my prints are typically done at a 0.12 layer height, and this was done on the Bamboo Labs with two colors, um, just their Polymaker Yellow and with Black. And I wanted to add something just a little bit different to this. A good place to start looking is Amazon, of course. You could find like starter kits like this, where you could get the activator as well as the film. And if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of them are the same for these starter kits. And we got lots and lots of designs to choose from. If you have one that looks black and white, you gotta remember that the white is gonna be the transparent part. So you're gonna have to have a color underneath. Either you're gonna need to prep the surface or make sure you have some type of vibrant color so that black and other color kind of pop. Now, these kits are gonna be a kit. And if you look here, this is only a 19 by 38 to start out with, with a six ounce can of activator. Activator does go a long way, but I just wanted to make you, you aware before you purchase. Go ahead and do post-processing on the parts if you feel like it. And once you're done, please make sure that everything's nice and clean. I use Sprayway Glass Cleaner. And you're going to want to make sure that you wear some safety equipment, goggles, and uh, possibly even a respirator. You definitely don't want to be uh, breathing in this activator stuff. I have no idea what it's made out of, so use precautions. Make sure you use lukewarm water. And the film should go sticky side down, so towards the water. Just moisten your fingers, and whichever side sticks goes towards the water. It's pretty simple. Now, when you place it in the water, you'll start to see it like crumple up a little bit, and then it'll start to expand, just like that. Definitely refer to the instructions, because most of them will say anywhere from like 30 to 45 seconds that you let the transfer or hydrographics sit in the water. And then what you'll do is apply the activator. Basically, you'll see the film just like sitting on the surface. All the wrinkles will be gone. And basically that's when you know it's ready for the activator. After you shake the activator, it depends if you're also using like a you know, air compressor gun or something, but if you have a rattle can, you're gonna just most likely do only one pass back and forth, depending on how big it is. Now for this one, um, I did apply two passes with the activator and I actually waited a little bit too long before I smirched this part because you can start to see the film separating and um, luckily I got it in just in the nick of time to get a good transfer to my part as you'll see in a few seconds here. But once you submerge it nice and slowly and evenly, you shake it, get basically rinsing off the part and look at that. Saved it just in time. Skulls look really nice against the the yellow makes it pop. Now let's go ahead and do another part. Now for bigger pieces like this, you notice that I'm actually pulling up on the edges and then dropping in nice and slowly. This way I could minim try to minimize how many air bubbles there might be in between the film and the water. Then you start to see it shrivel up again, almost like jumping in a cold water. And then once it absorbs, then you'll see it uh, start to expand and uh, the film become a little bit more smooth. This is when you want to start prepping your activator. Shake the can a little bit and get ready because you can see everything is nice and smooth and it's ready for the activator to be applied. Now I actually went a little bit overboard on here. I went up, down, side to side, and side to side again, and I sprayed a little bit too much and it started to activate very quickly. So. I'm going to submerge my part here very slowly because this has some jagged edges and I want to try to get this uh, hydrographics into as many nooks and crannies as possible. I went about halfway in because both sides are going to be dipped separately. Shake it and now let's take a look. Hopefully I did a better job with this one. I'm coming <laughs> along pretty impressed with this. Skulls are looking really nice on here against the yellow because it's only a black film and I want something to like make these skulls pop. So I'm doing it again, rinse and repeat on the other side 
And it's very important that after you dip these parts to get these ran under some cold water. Don't soak them. Get them under some cold water. Um, you want to like have it like a spray nozzle, so to speak, on it. Because you want to get all that activator stuff off of there. It has like a greasy film. And let it run under cold water for about five minutes. And then you're going to just let it air dry. Again, those skulls are coming out really nice. With a smaller tub like this, you're going to want to change the water pretty frequently. I let it go a little bit too long, and I um, wound up uh, having too much activator in it. And um, when I put the film in, it was starting to come apart rather quickly. There was so much activator in here that I actually messed up this part. This was sanded down and redone. It took almost an hour for me to sand up enough of the old um, <laughs> transfer or hydrographics to start over again. So definitely want to make sure that you change the water pretty often and make sure it's nice and warm. And with this part, I'm doing both sides because most of the viewing angles on this will be on the sides. And the yellow just definitely makes these skulls pop out a little bit. The more vibrant the color, the more you're going to see the hydrographics shine through, so to speak. Look at that. Pretty cool looking. Say that you have a part that you can't really grip. Well, I came up with a little bit of a solution here. So for this side panel, I just took one of those 3M hangers. Kind of serves as a dual purpose here because it uses it as a handle. And then I can also rest it along its side like a picture frame. Again, it's already activated, so now it's time to just uh, place the part in. There we go. Nice and slow because I want it to go around all the edges. Shake it. And let's go ahead and take a look. There you go. Skulls came out really nice. I like the big skull right there at the end. Fits perfectly. Perfectly placed. Again, you want to make sure that these immediately get rinsed off because you want to get all the activator and gooeyness off of it before we move on to the next step. However, before we get to the next step, I'd like to introduce today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB? Well, look no further than PCB Way. They're their one-stop shop for your PCB and manufacturing needs. You want to just generate a quote? It's pretty simple. Then you could do a standard PCB, advanced PCB. You could do a FTC rigid flex PCB. You could do some assembly. And you can also do SMD stenciling. But that's not it. They also offer CNC and also 3D printing. <laughs> it's literally a one-stop shop for all your needs. You're looking for a little project to do? Look at the shared projects. And you can go ahead and basically order a whole kit and just do a little project that someone else has created. It's a great community section for to share your ideas and have other people build the projects that you are working on. And I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and continue on with the hydrographics. You may notice after your parts have been properly rinsed off and thoroughly dried that your finish may look a little dull. And if this is the look that you're looking for, that is fine. But some may want it to be a little bit more vibrant. And that's when another process will come in. Before we continue on, you might be asking yourself, what the heck is tripod building anyways? Well, this is called a death racer. It's the brainchild of Sam Prentice and Michael Badley. You may see this in several 3D printing conventions. Basically, it's a rock'em sock'em robot with a joust on it. You try to knock your opponent's head off and other things. Yes, it's a blast. So I suggest trying to build one. I will put all the links in the descriptions below. Now, let's get on to the next step. All of our parts are nice and clean. We're going to make sure that all the dust is also off of them because the next step is um, applying a uh, clear coat. And this clear coat has a, um, a hardener in it. It's a 2K clear coat. You would just follow the instructions on the can and please make sure that you wear a respirator and some safety goggles because this hardener, you do not want to be breathing it in. It could cause some serious damage to your lungs. I'm going to be applying three coats of this and you could already see that just applying this that these parts are starting to pop almost like they're wet and the black is more vibrant and the yellow is more vibrant and plus it's going to add a layer of protection on here just like a clear coat for your car. 
Now this was just after one coat. You can see how much more vibrant it is already. And I'm going to wait about uh, 15 to 20 minutes per coat. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So, I mean, how many coats? It's up to you. Some may just want to do it once, but I'm going to do up to three. Because once you activate the hardener in here, um, the can's only good for like a day. So I'm going to just apply as many coats as I want because after this, it's going to go in the garbage. So I might as well use as much of the product as I can. And the final result will just make it pop. As you see here, everything just comes out a lot nicer. It has a nice sheen to it and it just looks a lot better. Well, let's go ahead and finish the assembly of this. Unfortunately, I ran out of yellow ASA and I had that other head on there just for testing purposes. And I arrived just in time to print another one for Earth. There we go. Yellow skull and some black hair. Kind of matched the rest of the theme of this, of course. Now, this Death Racer is ready for battle. Yeah, just like people that build battle bots, it looks great until it enters the ring. So, if hydrographics is something that you're looking to pursue, for your next 3D printing project, now you know what it takes to get it done. I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripods Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Catch you the next time. Tripods Garage.